Hi, I'm John Hancock. I'm a lead program manager in the SQL Server Analysis Services Group. Um, in SQL Server 2012, I worked on the Power Pivot and Analysis Services technologies. Um, one of the major things we did in SQL 2012 was bring a new version of Power Pivot with more powerful capabilities, and at the same time, we delivered a new experience for building tabular models for BI professionals in the SQL Server data tools environment. So one of the big design decisions we had right at the beginning was um, about the new capabilities. So bringing in these new modeling capabilities like uh, key performance indicators and hierarchies and perspectives. So where do they go? Right? Do you put them only in the professional environment um, or do you have another approach? So the key thing for us is actually that the BI semantic model is one model. So no matter where you choose to build it, either in Excel or in SQL Server data tools, it's the same BI semantic model behind the scenes. Um, so the reason we have the two tools is because we have information workers and power pivot and for that the major design goal is that it needs to be consistent and compatible with Excel that's what where they live and breathe for SQL server data tools professionals have a whole other set of requirements you know they need to work with huge data volumes with partitioning and security source control um, you know one solution with multiple projects of different types and that's the reason we have the two tools but the modeling capabilities are the same between both and actually that's one of the things we've had one of the, some of the best feedback on from the community because for if you're a, an information worker in the next version of Power Pivot or a professional building BI solutions, you have access to build the same kinds of powerful BI models, but you just get an environment that's tailored to your needs. Thanks.